What is going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be going through my whole 700 euro PC setup. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop a like down below, and don't forget to watch until the end, because that's when I'm going to be going through the real deal, the real prize money, the PC. Also because I want that watch time for, for the monetization. <coughs> <coughs> So guys, for the keyboard, we are using the Trust Gaming GXT Avon, which comes in at 26 euro. Matching this keyboard, we also have a Trust Gaming GXT Iza, or Iza, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, which has six uh, programmable buttons, and that will come in at 12 euro. I couldn't actually find the mouse pad uh, anywhere online, but it's a mouse pad, it's a Trust Gaming mouse pad. You can find any uh, sort of mouse pad uh, like this for probably like seven euro. Uh, but I do recommend going for a larger mouse pad which covers your whole desk. So you can put your keyboard and mouse on it and have that bit extra room. Honestly, you could get that for about 10 euro. Now for the headset, it looks a bit tattered, you could say, uh, maybe a bit worse for wear. I may have had to use some super glue uh, on the headset just to keep it running but it was fairly good uh, before I battered uh, the living shit out of it. That will be the Trust Gaming GXT 383 Dion. Uh, it has 7.1 surround sound. It comes with this little box for the surround sound. You don't even have to use it. You can just use it like a normal headset. That's what I do. Uh, maybe because I broke the box. It also has very good mic quality. That's what I record all of my videos with, that mic over there. And um, yeah, it's, it's just very good. Like if you watch my videos, you probably wouldn't think it's a headset mic. Uh, so yeah, I, I do recommend it, especially if you want a cheap solution, a headset and mic for recording all in one. The headset will cost 60 euro, which isn't a bad price. Now for the monitor, you might think this looks like a 1980s TV. And it does. Uh, this is the Hansbury XM-S. It's a 19 inch 75 hertz monitor. I got it off a friend second hand for like 20 quid. So you're not gonna be able to buy this anywhere. I couldn't find this anywhere for uh, purchase. So you're actually gonna be better off buying a better monitor uh, for a bit more money. Now for my sound, uh, I use the iTech 29 inch soundbar system. The iTech soundbar will come in at 30 euro, which isn't a bad price, but uh, I just kind of had this lying around anyway. I would recommend maybe buying some Logitech speakers. I know they had them for like 20 quid uh, and they're meant to be pretty good. Now for my cable management, uh, I basically just routed all the wires, uh, you know, around my monitor uh, through a cable clip and into my PC, which if you're looking at it from a wide angle, it looks decent enough. Uh, I think one of the clips actually fell off, that's why it's uneven, uh, but it looks decent enough. And uh, my most prized part of the setup is of course the creeper there uh, in the top right. This creeper, as you could probably guess, is also a custom built creeper. A uh, few years ago again, my friend uh, built this creeper. He moved away, gave it to me, and yeah, I've just been sitting on the wall ever since. Uh, which, it, you know, it's it's a nice little addition to the setup. So as you can see, my desk is unique. It is a very big desk. It is wide and long. It fits everything on my uh, in my setup. You know, it would fit another monitor. It would fit two more monitors, honestly, if I wanted it. Uh, and it also has room for a few school stuff uh, and, and that crack over on the side. This desk also fits into the alcove that is in my room, which is very nice because it, it just looks aesthetically pleasing that uh, the whole setup, is, it, it looks like it's built into the wall. Unfortunately, you cannot buy this desk online or in a shop because uh, this is custom made by my dad. <laughs> I didn't have to pay for a desk, which really brought down the budget. You might uh, be paying an extra uh, few euros for a desk, or chances are you probably already have one. Maybe think about getting your dad to build one or 
if you're you know handy enough build one yourself uh, it, it would bring down the cost if you can build anything yourself uh, without paying for it I mean go for it you know now guys for the moment you've all been waiting for the PC now I call this PC Deadpool for three reasons one well it's obvious color scheme matching Deadpools what? oh oh hello two it's kind of a knockoff of uh, another PC build I can't tell you but it does rhyme with Pulverine and three, it's really good at kicking ass in games. Maximum effort. For the CPU in this PC, I went with the Ryzen 3 2200G. Now this comes with Vega 8 graphics and a Wrath Stealth cooler, which means you don't have to go and buy another cooler. You can, but to be honest, the cooler does fairly well on its own. It uses the new Ryzen multi-thread processing technology. It comes with a processor speed of 3.7 GHz and comes with four processors. This CPU can also be overclocked, which I did on Deadpool back there. Uh, I can't remember what I overclocked it to, but your system might be different anyway. However guys, make sure you stay until the end because I do have some uh, points on the CPU and some possible upgrades that you might get for a reasonable price. So the Ryzen 3 2200G comes in at 90 euro. Moving on to our graphics card. For Deadpool, I use the MSI Radeon or X570 Armor, which comes with eight gigabytes of DDR5. Yeah, eight gigabytes of DDR5. Now, this is a very good graphics card, but I would make a recommendation, and I will make a recommendation at the end of this video, guys. So again, don't forget to watch till the end for uh, some just tips on what I would do differently, and if you are building a system like this, or just with this graphics card, you maybe might want to know. So the Aura X570 Armor will come in at 190 euro. So for the motherboard, I use the Asus B450M-A Micro ATX board. This is fully capable with the Ryzen 2200G or third gen Ryzen processors. It also has M.2 capabilities and some RGB headers, which can be synced with Aura Sync. I haven't personally used them yet, but I'm thinking of just syncing them in red uh, to obviously match my PC. Now, this motherboard will come in at 70 euro, which isn't a bad uh, price for a motherboard that supports Ryzen 2nd and 3rd generation. For the RAM, I used the Patriot Viper Elite series, which is two sticks of four gigabyte RAM, uh, clocked in at 2,400 megahertz, uh, of DDR4. You can get this RAM in red or grey and I of course chose red. This is the most important uh, reason why you should stick until the end for some tips because this RAM, um, you know, you need to know what I'm going to say at the end about this RAM, especially if you're thinking of getting it. The RAM comes in at 38 euro. For the power supplies, I use the EVGA or EVGA, I'm not sure if it's a full word or not, uh, 500 watt, 80 plus white power supply that's fully capable of powering this system you see behind me uh, and it comes in at 50 euro. Don't know much about power supplies so that's really all I'm going to tell you. Uh, if you're thinking of getting it, just maybe look more into it, research more into it or something. For the storage of this system, I only have a 240 gigabyte SSD. This is going to be the Crucial BX500. And um, I mean, it's a good SSD. SSD is fast, uh, a lot faster than the hard drive anyway. Uh, but you might want to think about getting some more storage if you're thinking of downloading a lot of games or even uh, recording some videos. The SSD will come in at 33 euro. Now, for the PC case, you can of course see behind me, I used the CIT Blaze gaming PC case. It's a mid-tower ATX case. You can get it in red or blue. It has six RGB fans. It has, uh, I believe, at the front a 3.0 USB uh, connection, two 2.0 connections, uh, a headphone jack, a mic jack, um, and a 
power button, a restart button, you know, all that's just the basic stuff uh, to have at the front. It also has a tempered glass panel at the side, and it's tempered glass at the front, but it doesn't let you, well, I guess you can actually see uh, in through the front, but with the fans, not very well. Uh, but I mean, no one wants to see into the front of their case anyway. It is a very nice case and I do recommend it. It will come in at 57 euro. I know a lot of people say, uh, oh, it's not about the looks of the PC. Don't waste your money on the looks. Uh, waste your money on, well, not waste your money, but uh, spend your money on the actual hardware in the system. But personally, if I'm gonna build a PC and put my money into building a PC, I like to turn it on uh, and it to look nice when I play on it, you know. Uh, which is for a lot of people, so that's why I went with a nice looking case. I also have an upgrade that you could get uh, on this case uh, at the end of this video. Now for some upgrades or recommendations. First of all, for the CPU, I recommend upgrading the Ryzen 3 2200G to the Ryzen 5 2600. This upgrade will cost you 60 euro extra. The 2600 does not come with integrated graphics, as the 2200G does, but you don't need that integrated graphics if you're gonna be using a graphics card like the RX 570. This upgrade will not break your budget because what I'm about to explain to you about the GPU will lower the price without affecting the performance. For the RX 570 armor, which I purchased, I actually got it cheaper uh, than purchasing the non-armored version. And honestly, I think the only difference between the armored version is that it's white and maybe slight performance. I'm actually not too sure, uh, but nothing drastic. At the time, the armored version had pr free prime delivery and the non-armored version was very close in price. So I got it cheaper by, uh, if I bought the armored version. However, at the moment, uh, the armor is 190 euro and the non-armored version is 155 euro. So if you go for the non-armored version, you are paying 45 euro less, which leaves only 15 euro extra with the upgraded CPU and either no to little performance uh, downgrades. And even if there is small performance downgrades, the upgraded CPU will completely wipe them out of the park. For my third recommendation, I definitely recommend upgrading the RAM. If you're going to do anything, don't do the CPU, don't do the GPU, do the RAM first because 16 gigabytes of RAM is way more important. Also, the RAM that I purchased is only 2,400 megahertz, which I completely regret doing. I could have definitely got way over uh, 3,000 megahertz for just a bit extra. Now, I do recommend getting 16 gigabytes instead of the eight gigabytes, which will probably cost you 30 to 40 euro extra, depending on which brand uh, you go for. I'm not too sure which is the cheapest, and honestly, RAM changes so much in price that uh, it's only gonna be the cheapest at the time for you when you're buying it. But yeah, the 16 gigabyte RAM is gonna be important and also uh, try get over 3000 megahertz uh, because anything under is kind of just a waste for the Ryzen CPU. For my final recommendation, this has nothing got to do with performance uh, or um, upgrading the actual system but it does have something got to do with upgrading the aesthetic. This is the PC case. As I was saying earlier, I think aesthetic is actually important, um, but you know, if you're going budget, you, you, you might wanna uh, leave that to last. However, with this uh, PC case that I have, uh, it is LED, as you can see it is red. You can also get it in blue, but for about 30 euro extra, you can get an RGB version uh, with six fans. You can also get like for about 15 euro extra, just four fans and the same RGB version. This is again a mid tower ATX. It's pretty much the same, except it has RGB and fan control, which is a very nice, uh, just kind of, you know, upgrade for a low enough price. Uh, even the 15 euro one for four fans wouldn't be a bad deal. So guys, that is it for my 700 euro PC setup. If you follow the recommendations slash upgrades that I mentioned at the end, you might be paying around 750, uh, including the upgraded case, so you could even pay less uh, for no little performance. 
and um, then you know you'd be going good as well so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i definitely did and i take pride in my setup as you can see and finally guys if you liked the video uh, maybe just drop a like on the video and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new Huge thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in my next video